Do you think you're C1 in English? Take this test and find out your level. Let's get started. Question number one. Which sentence uses the present perfect tense correctly? The correct answer. She has lived in Barcelona all her life. This sentence uses the present perfect correctly because the event started in the past and continues in the present. Question number two. In which sentence is gradually used in the most appropriate position? Gradually, I accepted her as one of the family. We don't put adverbs between the verb and its object. The beginning of a sentence is a more appropriate position for gradually in this case. Question number three. Which third conditional sentence is correct? If I had seen you, I would have said hello. To make a sentence in the third conditional, we use if plus past perfect, would or wouldn't have plus past participle. Question number four. Complete the sentence. The correct answer. Neither do I. We use neither plus auxiliary verb plus subject to mean also not. Question number five. Which short answer with suppose is not correct? There are two possible negative forms. We should say, I suppose not, or I don't suppose so. We can't say, I don't suppose not. Question number six. I will lend you the book so long as you return it. As long as or so long as is used before saying the conditions that will make something else happen or be true. Question number seven. The correct answer, anticipating. Levi was eagerly anticipating her arrival. The word eagerly is a strong collocate of the verb anticipate. Question number eight. We can use both let and allow to talk about giving and refusing permission, but which sentence is correct? The correct answer, students are not allowed to eat in class. We don't usually use the passive with let. Question number nine. Choose the correct expression to complete this sentence. In the nick of time means at the last possible moment. Luckily, the rescue came in the nick of time. Question number 10. Which sentence correctly reports this question? What are you doing? The correct answer, he asked me what I was doing. If the reporting verb is in the past tense, then usually we change the tenses in the reported speech. Question number 11. 
Complete the sentence with the correct propositions. It wasn't my fault. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. To be in the wrong place at the wrong time is used for saying that something bad happened to someone because they were not lucky. Question number 12. If a crime is committed in broad daylight, it happens in the daytime and in public. Question number 13. Which sentence is correct? The correct sentence. He said that he hated making mistakes. We usually follow tell with a personal object. We follow say immediately with a noun clause. If we want to put a personal object after say, we use the word to. Question number 14. Choose the correct form of the verb in the sentence. We dug a hole and planted the tree. Question number 15. Complete the sentence. The correct answer, poorly. I'm feeling poorly and I'm going back to bed. We use the adjective poorly when we mean unwell or sick. How many questions did you answer correctly? Share your level with us in the comments below.